Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to do a collective haul for you guys. I've got a few bits from um, some different brands. I've got stuff from MAC, I've got stuff from Morphe, I've got stuff from Anastasia and some other brands in here as well. So I thought I would show them with you guys. Some of these you have already seen on my channel but I thought I would go through them with you today anyway and you guys can tell if you've used them or not. So before we jump straight into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you like my content, if you like me. Um, if you would like to ring that little bell down there as well so you can get notified when I do upload videos, I do try to upload every single Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, Victorian time in Australia. And I will also have my Instagram handles in the description box below as well. I have my personal account and then I also have my makeup account because I am a professional makeup artist. I'm currently studying, but I will be out and about soon doing people's makeup. I'm currently also wearing my um, everyday corporate kind of makeup look that I wear to my other job that I'm doing at the moment so I'm trying to transition into makeup as my full-time job and um, at the moment I am still working in corporate so if you'd like to see a video on how I do my makeup like this and how it is considered to be corporate appropriate makeup let me know below and without further ado let's get straight into the video so I have a bag here from Mac um, I did a really big shop at Mac recently um, every single Sunday I do my makeup school classes and there is a Mac Pro store right near the Academy where I'm currently studying so I mean I go there every single Sunday <laughs> um, so I've been growing a few bits and bobs for my kit from them um, so I thought I'd show you what I've got some of this stuff has been around forever I mean you're probably gonna know all this sort of stuff but I mean the principles of a makeup kit does tend to be from Mac it's a really good place to start because their shade range is incredible they have everything so the first thing in the little bag here that I can see is two foundations I've got the studio fix fluid SPF 15 in the shades NC 10 and NC 35 so I am starting to build my kit I thought I would start with um, my fair and middle shades first these are the two shades here neither of these shades would match me but I thought it'd be a really really good place to start um, in terms of I know a lot of people use fake tan, especially for weddings and stuff like that. So um, I could use this as a base shade and then manipulate it with this one or um, obviously manipulate it with a deeper shade as well. I'm not quite finished with all of my base tones that I plan on having in my kit, but I thought I would start with the Studio Fix Fluids and these are the two that I've got. So just up close, this is the shade NC10 and this is the shade NC35. Hopefully both of those will be a fantastic start to my kit and I'm super excited to start using them on clients. The next things in my little bag here are two Pro Longwear paint pots. I've got them in the shades Soft Ochre and Painterly. They do tend to be the standard shades that people use um, in their kits. One is a pinky base tone, which is the Painterly paint pot. So if you have pink undertones, this is a fantastic eye primer to use if you haven't got something else that you want to use. I mean concealers work just fine but I feel like these just take it to the next level and they're super creamy and really easy to manipulate on the eyelid especially if it's somebody who has a deep set crease or a deep set eye. These work really really well. So this is Painterly. It's the pinky based one. I have already had a go and dipped in there. I've decanted some product and used it in my makeup classes. So this has um, a really really high pigmentation. The pigment in Intensity is quite high so it does have awesome color payoff when you use it on a client's eye um, and it will really make those colors that you lay down pop especially if you're going for a more colorful look so this is soft ochre it's more of a yellow based eye primer it looks like this here so this is the soft ochre paint pot um, I have used this one a lot more than painterly it does seem especially with people that use fake tan quite frequently it does work quite well for them it works really really well for those who have a fake tan so for someone like me um, I naturally am more of a pink based undertone but because I fake tan it does manipulate to being more yellow based so this kind of tone works best for me so my last two things from Mac I have got a pro long wear concealer here in the shade NC20 this is a pump bottle um, and it is this glass which is I don't know you don't really see that too often on concealers these days it does tend to be more plastic this is what it looks like here this is NC20 this is super super popular um, a very universal shade it can be used on a lot of different people so I'm I find that I can use this shade on me at the moment with my fake tan but then I've also people that do 
go more towards the NC35, NC40 can use this shade under their eyes as well, especially if they want that super bright eyed effect. Last from MAC, I got a MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Rose. So rose water has a lot of benefits for the skin. So I thought when the Fix Plus came out in a rose particular scent, I thought that'd be really, really nice. I tend to use this for dry skin girls. I find that if you're an oily or a combination kind of person that this isn't the best because it does tend to trigger your oils. Um, that's just what happens to me and that's what's happened to clients that I have used it on. The packaging just looks like this. It's so cute and pink. I absolutely love pink. So that's why I was drawn to pick up this product. It's not particularly expensive and um, you can use it to wet your brushes and give a little bit of hydration to things and stuff like that in your kit. And it's just an all round good universal product to have. Okay, now moving on to a different brand. I've got a few things recently from Hourglass. I've got here the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation in the shade buff so I showed this in my makeup kit the other day if you've seen that video um, I will also have it linked down below if you haven't um, so this is the product here I wanted to get something a little bit different for my kit and I thought this would be really really nice for brides and it is a little bit expensive like it was pretty sure it was nearly a hundred dollars for this to be honest it was just bit much but um I did buy it with the intention of using it on clients and putting it in my kit so I didn't really think that that was too bad I mean I'm happy to send the extra dollars um I have tried it on myself I do quite like it if you're somebody that's into luxury makeup I do think that this is worth having a go at um if not it's not life changing I mean like it's not the best in the market but it's up there if you if makeup artistry is your thing and you really want to have a go at some different brands, have a go. But otherwise, you're not you're not really missing too much. So another thing I got from Hourglass is their new Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I got mine in the shade Oat. So this is what it looks like here. So I like to have a really bright under eye. I do have a lot of creases in my under eye, so it is quite hard for me to find a concealer that doesn't settle into those fine lines and move around a lot. So I obviously use the Tarte Shape Tape. That works really well for me, but I'm finding it hard to find a concealer that can compete with that. So I'm hoping that this concealer is going to be the competition that the Tarte Shape Tape needs. Um, I do want a bit more hydration in my under eyes. I do want to start looking after my skin better. And I do think that this particular concealer could get me there so i'm really hoping fingers crossed that it's amazing i haven't had a chance to try it yet so i will give it a go in the next week or so and i'll probably post about it on my instagram page so i will pop all those details in the description box below and do not forget to give me a follow there so last from hourglass i got this amazing product like i know that it was really popular for like a hot minute there but then it kind of just completely disappeared and it is the scattered light glitter eyeshadow now these are so so cool like you don't even need a glitter a glitter glue or anything with these particular eyeshadows so they come in a little pot like this and then when you take the lid off they have a little stopper in there and once you take the stopper off all the product is just sitting there so this one here is in the shade reflect it just looks like this it's so beautiful it looks more rose gold in the packaging than it does when you swatch it oh so beautiful i'm obsessed obsessed with this product so that's the swatch there I just think it looks so, 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 so beautiful. It's going to look stunning, stunning on brides. Um, I do plan on doing my own makeup for my wedding. I know that some people kind of cringe when I say that, but I mean, I know my eye shape better than anyone. I do have a very strong protruding vein that does run through this eye and... I've had quite a few people do my makeup and I find that they particularly struggle with covering that vein. So I thought it would just be best if I just got my eyelash extensions done, just made it really nice and easy on myself and did my own makeup on my wedding day. So I probably will use that product because I do love that product on my wedding day, but we'll have to see. That was everything out of my MAC bag. Now we're going to go into my Morphe bag. I've got a couple of things in here from Morphe and then I've got one thing in here that's from Sephora, but I just didn't get a bag. So the first thing is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I did mention this in one of my videos recently as well. This is a collective haul, so I thought I'd pop this in here as well. This is like so inspired me to do some colorful looks. I've got a client booked in in the next month or so and they would like a colorful look done. So I saw this palette 
It was meant to be. I can create so many looks with this palette. I'm so excited to be able to do a colourful look on a client. You don't tend to get too many of those. So um, I love the shades in here. It's very different to her original palette. Her original palette does not leave my kit. It is fantastic for brides. Amazing. And she has gone a bit risque with this particular palette in the fact that Purples are some of the hardest shades to create in a palette in terms of pigmentation, creaminess, payoff, all that sort of stuff. They're really hard to press. So she's essentially got two rows of her palette that are variations of purples, aside from this black at the end. Like they are basically different variations of the one color that is the hardest to make. So this is such a risky palette in that sense, but I do appreciate the fact that she has a lot of neutrals down here. She has one row that's a little bit colorful, got a few reds, got a few oranges. I was pretty drawn to this palette for the yellow. I don't have a yellow in any of my other palettes that I'm using at the moment. If you loved her original formula, this is really, really nice as well. And the price really, you can't you can't really complain. I think it's like $68 for this palette and you get a lot of shades in there. So I highly recommend picking this one up. The next thing that I got from Morphe is actually from P. Louise. I got her base. This is in Rumor 2. I'd heard so much about this base. I'd already bought the MAC paint pots like I'd mentioned earlier. But I just, people keep on talking about this product like it's life changing. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to figure out what it is that these people are talking about because... If it is that incredible, I need it in my life. So I picked it up um, and it just comes in this little squeezy tube right here. Beautiful packaging. Um, and it is more of a pinky undertone rather than a yellowy undertone. So on my skin tone, that's what it looks like. It's very pinky based. It doesn't match me at all. But I mean, it is underneath. All your eyeshadows, so I mean, it should be completely fine. I just want to know what all the hype is around this product. I did have a MUA size one, which was like three times the size of this. So I'm thinking if I do love it, I will pop it in my kit and get the big one. So if you've used this, let me know. And um, I would love to hear your thoughts on whether this is truly life-changing or whether it's just another product that's having its moment. Last in my collective haul today, I got the Anastasia Amrezi palette. I picked this up literally yesterday. So it was payday yesterday for me and I was like, I need that palette in my life. Like, I can't not have that. So when I saw this and I started to sit on it and I didn't jump at it straight away, like, it's pink packaging. Pink and rose gold packaging. It's stunning. Look at that. Isn't that just so, so beautiful? Like, oh, I'm such a sucker for packaging. I know that everybody says that, but babe, this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely obsessed absolutely obsessed with this palette. I mean, look at these colors. So like I said, I'm doing a colorful look on a client in a couple of weeks. There's actually two clients booked in for that appointment. So I'm going to do two different types of colorful looks. And I have a feeling that I'm going to use a lot in here. I really want to use this shade here, this blue, this is called Leo. I really want to use that as an inner corner highlight. I don't know how I'm going to make that work, but I really want to give it a go. So I'll swatch a couple of shades for you guys. Like, obviously, I'm going to swatch Leo. Um, Bob. I'd love to do a tutorial on here as well using this particular eyeshadow palette because I think it's glorious. There's no other word for it. It's so, 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 so beautiful. Okay, so that's a bunch of the shades swatched right there. I really, I stuffed up that last this swatch right here. Stuff that up. Sorry, guys. Um, so they're swatching so beautifully. Like, oh, so good. So I can't wait to use this on my eyes. I know the formula for Anastasia can have a bit of kickback in it, but that doesn't deter me whatsoever in terms of wanting to use her products. So I'm super keen to use this one and I can't wait to put a look up on my Instagram or up on here on YouTube using this palette. Let me know if you want to see that. I know this has kind of been and gone. It's kind of gone over the hill a little bit. Like it's not as hyped up as it was, um, but I'm still super keen to 
create a look with this palette that's a little bit out of the box if that's something that you would like to see so give this video a thumbs up if that's something that you would like to let me know so that's everything from my collective haul there was a few things in there um, that you have already seen before but I thought it'd be really nice to pop it in a haul video um, and a few things that you guys haven't seen yet either so if you've tried any of these products before do let me know in the description box below I'd love to know what your thoughts are and if there's any new releases or anything that you would like to see me use in a video in maybe a chit chat get ready with me video also let me know in the comments below what you would like see next on my channel i think my next video is going to be um a project pan update potentially if it's not up already it will probably be my next video and it would be fantastic if you could give me any recommendations for videos that you'd like to see in the future um but that's everything from me and thank you so much again for clicking on this video i really appreciate you spending your time with me do not forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video thanks guys bye